Hi there, and welcome to Survey of Jazz. My name is Dr. Kara Pollard, and today we're going to be talking about brass instruments. Now, how do brass instruments actually get their sound? Basically, all it is is the vibration of the lips, so you're just pushing air through the lips. Now, if you can do this and just flap your lips, you can play tuba. Tuba mouthpiece. <coughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a tuba here today, but check out the video with all the instruments and they, they'll show you a tuba. So the next higher up is the trombone. Trombone has a slide that has seven different positions. It's called the glissando. We'll go into that a little more in the beginnings of jazz. So that's tr a trombone. Now the next is trumpet. It's a little bit smaller than the trombone. And actually the very first trumpet, supposedly the story goes, is this, conch shell. That someone was really hungry. They saw that there was food in there. So they lobbed off the top and they blew through it. And they have a trumpet. I have a whole bunch of these. These are awesome. So, so that was the first trumpet. Later on, they became a little bit more ornamental. This one's from Bhutan. And then this is from Tibet. But you play it like a trumpet. Like that pretty easy then later on came the bugle notice there's no box but i can get a whole bunch of different notes it's all with the lips and then this is actually a cornet you've got a cornet and trumpet Notice the cornet is actually a little bit smaller than the trumpet. It sounds a little different too. So this is a cornet. Cornets were used in early jazz and then the trumpet, which is a little bit longer. a difference between the two and then later on you had what's called a flugelhorn I love this instrument this is one of my favorite instruments usually if I play jazz I'll play this trumpet players you might need to know behind me Clifford Brown and people said that was the latest no that's actually not the latest no but we'll talk more about them later on and that pretty much does it for the brass family oh there's a few more there is um so you've got the tuba which is on the low end it's a really big mouthpiece then the trombone and you have bass trombone and all that and tenor trombone. So that's the next one. And then trumpet. And then cornet, just a little bit smaller mouthpiece. And then French horn, which actually the French horn mouthpiece fits inside the tuba mouthpiece. So that basically does it for brass. Uh, please watch the video on instruments. It goes a lot more into detail and it's really cool. So I'll see you next time. Bye.